a families that it is not sickness that plagues them but this spirit of poverty even if you make so, that someone in that family a director in NMPC they will still be poor are we together there are many people who will bring certificates for you three doctors PhD in a family and none of them has a good job what kind of thing is that there are people who have been in this city the land itself has rejected them everything fights you everything fights you mm -mm. is someone learning maybe there's someone watching there's someone following and you're saying apostle you are just describing my situation as a family we we don't know what the problem is don't know what the problem is you take in and after two three months here comes this strange and wicked spirit and somebody comes to molest you and by the next day or a few days after you lose the pregnancy that one will need more than medical attention that one will need a miracle service like this in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I know someone who vowed to help a man and I'm telling you I, I kid you not by the next day the person went to the office and the person said I cannot remember seeing you Abba you can't remember seeing me when you said I should come with my CV tomorrow for instance and give me a job what happened mm. hallelujah what of people who actually get things but they don't have longevity in their life I don't mean physical longevity nothing stays long the moment they have money just start praying for them because it's a matter in one month it goes down once you give them a position just know that in in two or three weeks in that office something must happen then they must lose it it's like if you don't lose good things the realm of the spirit is at a, a state of unrest if there is anything that is on anybody's head here that followed you for this meeting i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit i lift it up from you now i lift it up from you now i lift it up from you now hallelujah i know someone who traveled abroad responsibly just when they were checking people at the immigration i think i've shared the story they were looking for somebody who was a thief and they saw him and i think there was a up to 50 percent resemblance with the thief and they moved him to one room just like that i don't look like a rich man i don't look like somebody who is impacting the world my face now looks like a thief ah no every wrong every fail in the name of jesus that is programming evil over you that makes evil to look like good and good to look like evil i declare that veil is torn from your face torn from your face torn from your face torn from your face hallelujah please hear me true story someone was begging for money from somebody to take care of an emergency in the hospital this is a true story and when the person was doing the transfer something came on the person and he missed the account by one digit and he sent the money to someone else this is a true story see the thing I've, the things i've seen in this life bar by reason of ministry how do you plan to bless someone then it's when it's now your turn they miss it by a digit what was that other person praying that his own account was the one that came listen do you know that God is called you read your Bible the sons of Jacob I hope you know Jacob had 12 sons is that true the first of them was Reuben read your Bible you are Bible students Jesus is never called the lion of the tribe of Reuben what happened to the firstborn not even Simeon 
how did judah come out to become the lion of the tribe of judah when jacob was blessing his sons you read your bible now he looked at reuben and he said you are my strength you are the, the excellency of my strength but you are as unstable as the wind he said thou shall not excel and even jesus when he came he refused to identify with that man he would have polluted his own ministry not lion of the tribe of reuben not lion of the tribe of simeon lion of the tribe of judah so don't say we are the most enlightened family in our area the realm of the spirit rearranges based on the covenants you are standing on did you hear what i said it is you can claim whatever you want to claim the realm of the spirit with digital precision will rearrange everything based on the, the code that it was programmed with that means it is possible to be a man physically but the realm of the spirit brings you to a position of a woman and you will find out that you cannot feed your wife because the realm of the spirit does not yet authorize and recognize you as the abba the bread provider you can be a graduate in a family and the one who takes care of them is the one that did not even go to primary school because in the realm of the spirit that person is standing on a covenant that the realm of the spirit recognizes that one as a breadwinner i'm saying that because we're about to pray this miracle service don't worry we'll finish on time don't say i'm still teaching this is the deliverance you are receiving no tonight you have to be angry enough is enough enough is enough in the name of jesus enough is enough hallelujah can i tell you do you know how many gifted people are in this nation and in africa world ministers music ministers these are people that are supposed to be at a global level but this foundation has kept them you talk with them you are like what are you still doing here there are people who will listen to you and say you are the exact person our company is looking for and after three years they will pass you every day and never call you for a job they will bring an ignorant person and train the person send the person to france return the person back and give the person a job whereas you already have the qualification how about ministers of the gospel just because you are sincere let me tell you the truth liking you is a grace make no mistakes about that the liking you and receiving of your ministry generationally speaking is a grace you can be sincere and do all you want to do it will still not work is someone learning now wicked spirits programmed in foundations it's like they tie you with a rope just when you are moving you are about to obtain this the way it pulls your father it pulls you back you are on your way going whether you are a preacher it pulls you back just when you are reaching your destiny helper it pulls you back in the name of jesus whatever has tied you i cut it away from you right now i cut it away from you right now i'm saying it again i cut it away from you listen can I tell you believe me when I tell you you can know that you have had victory over your foundation the result will speak instantly a job that was difficult suddenly comes listen job chapter 42 give us verse 10 and 11 let me show you something you can know when a demonic resistance holding you has left the realm of the spirit and the physical realm will bear witness because the earth listen to me the earth even water is a witness and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends so the lord gave job twice as much as he had 
but 11 is where I'm really going to what suddenly happened to him you can know captivity has turned around watch this then there came unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before question what drove them you think they just left you think they did every one of them started feeling like kite what is why is job's issue coming to my heart that's because something was corrected in the realm of the spirit watch this the bible says they did eat bread with him in his house they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the lord had brought unto him and then this is how god restored him every man also gave him a piece of money so they had it before while he was suffering the same way your uncle has it and is aware that you are in this city you have sent a text sent a text stop sending a text come for miracle service carry an anointing upon your head i hope you believe what i'm teaching you everyone gave him a piece of money what kind of business was he going to start in that state of pain how long would it take him so the lord restored in the realm of the spirit but physically things started happening can i tell you the truth you can know doctors when a patient has malaria how do you know the patient has malaria or typhoid there are signs is that true he goes to the hospital and there's what they call vital signs am i right medical people you now begin to check uh -uh. Temperature is running. The person is um, maybe vomiting, stooling, or doing whatever. How do you know the patient is recovering? You know the patient is recovering because things begin to change. Are there times when you take drugs and find out that the drug did not affect the intended change? You still go back to the doctor and say, this drug did not work. They will now do a further test and say, ah, we thought it was this. So just because it was a drug did not mean it solved every problem. As far as your body is concerned, you didn't take a drug. Even though you were on one week medication, your body did not recognize it because it was not the solution. Don't say I have been praying. Don't say they prayed for me. When you take malaria drug for, for what now? Typhoid, it may not work, but it is still drug. Tonight the right drug is coming on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I'm declaring over you, you may not know what is changing. For some of you, as I'm declaring, it's not only your health. By tomorrow, if phone calls, you will wake up with phone calls and say, what is happening to me? What is changing in my life? listen please hear me believers let me tell you the truth by the power of the holy spirit i've been mandated to insist that your life produces results yeah. hallelujah undeniable unquestionable results some of you by reason of what is on your life you are supposed to be building houses for people not even looking for rent honestly because in terms of value you have worked on yourself let me pray for someone again what is sitting on your destiny that will not let you and your family rise by the power that is in the name of jesus here at koinonia all oh, be lifted from your life be lifted from your life be lifted from your life that demonic embargo want to say that if you have not subscribed to this channel you should try to subscribe to this channel because the Lord will always reach out to you through this channel God bless you